Hello viewers and welcome! This is Zombie Zoo part 18. Yes, and this is our hero, Gail, the man who escaped the prison <laughs> and is now pretty well handling himself in the cataclysm. Uh, he just returned from a crazy adventure. He went uh, to check out this city over here, this small settlement where he found a well, a zombie Hulk and uh, well, he decided to run. He did escape. He's happy that he didn't meet the zombie Hulk in person. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the time will come when Gail will be capable of uh, fighting the zombie Hulks. But right now, he, he does not feel capable of doing this. He also feels a little bit warm at the moment. So I will drop his um, duster on the floor yeah so that he it will be a little bit easier on him while he's here in the shelter we will still take duster with us when we go out adventuring and uh, yeah the, let's continue with the plan uh, the plan was to make the rock forge which is one of the buildings he needs for um, metal working so let's go over here and see if we have everything. We should have, yeah, we can build a rock forge. This requires fabrication five and it will take two hours to complete. Um, it's still early enough, he can do it. I think, uh, yeah, he just wants to start it. It will be uh, finished before evening, before yeah, late evening. So let's do it and fingers crossed that he does not fail this. Excellent. So yeah, I think this is it. He managed to create a rock forge. Something that will help him make his tools and work the metal. Um, and now he needs to pick up the charcoal. Charcoal? Where is the charcoal? Here, okay. Pick up the charcoal. And uh, put, yeah, just put everything into the rock forge. Yeah, so he put all the charcoal into the rock forge. Now he can uh, produce uh, tools and weapons, all made of metal, much much better than the makeshift tool, make, makeshift tools and weapons he has uh, at the moment. Um, he is already a bit hungry. Um, he will eat the only meat that he still has on himself, which reminds Gail that his food supply is really running out this is not an amazing food supply um which means that he will need to make the next expedition tomorrow which will be tomorrow uh, in the morning when he wakes up uh, there's a number of places where he, he could go he could try to loot this grocery store but it's but it's a little bit dangerous he knows that well could be you know it's it's a it's a bit dangerous thing to do so he will probably take the car south and try to loot these houses mostly for food and maybe he can find one or two interesting useful books one thing that gail still needs i think is is mechanics uh his mechanics is terrible uh let's check yeah mechanics is basically zero he says seven percent on to level one he can't do anything. And for example, to start building his uh, metal working setup, he needs to build first the crucible. For a crucible, he needs a steel frame. And I think for this, we will check this in the morning, but I think to, to um, disassemble, to take steel frame off a car, he needs some mechanic skill, I'm pretty sure. And I don't know if there's anything that he can do to raise his mechanic skill, no. So he, ne he really needs to find the mechanics book so that he'll be able to repair, do make some basic repairs on his car. Um, yeah, and, um, and uh, start uh, building these metal working tools. 
Okay, there's still some time left. So um, let's see. Can Gale has uh, his clothing is okay, so he does not need to repair the clothing. Uh, what about the books? Uh, one thing that annoys me and Gail as well is that he can't really cook well, so he spoils lots of food and uh, yeah, it's just not good. But at the moment, out of all the books that he has, I can't see a single book that will help him cooking. So the only thing that would work, maybe get a little bit better at first aid. This is another thing that he failed. He tried to cauterize wounds several times. Each time he did it, all he achieved is he has given himself some pain. So uh, how? what is his first state? 57%. So maybe we can get to at least first state level 1 tonight. Before starting reading the book, Gail will pick up the um, he will actually wield the clarinet if he can find it uh, clarinet clarinet and he will play the clarinet this is how Gale just he studies better when he plays the clarinet this is uh, just uh, how he is so let's start reading the book now and we should not go for too long, maybe two hours max, then we should stop him. Okay, so yeah, it's nearly 1 p.m. and he <laughs> it's too dark to read and he's 96% done. So uh, let's uh, drop the clarinet for now. Stop playing the clarinet uh, and uh, drink some water. He needs to go to sleep. He's a bit hungry. So let's eat just some um, some crackers probably. Do we have any? I think just some crackers. Yeah, that's enough. One cracker was enough. Maybe in the morning when we make our breakfast, we'll have the fire so we can finish this book as well. But now I, I really think Gail needs to go to sleep to be ready in the morning. He will sleep for seven hours. He cannot afford to sleep more. Yeah, it is comfortable. He does not hear anything outside, which is pretty good. And he wakes up. He slept through the alarm. So it's 9 a.m. Gail, that's not nice. He, uh, pr he probably heard the alarm. He just didn't want to wake up because I said the alarm. So yeah, he's hungry and thirsty. So let's put some uh, two by fours, maybe two. Do we have every anything else that we could put on the fire? No, maybe let's put then three two by fours. Activate the lighter. And can we cook s anything, anything? bone broth we can cook the bone broth and that's really it let's cook the brown bone broth and consume it and this was not enough to for our hunger what can we do we can also do some boiled noodles let's do oh this is two portions yeah let's do boiled noodles as well this takes only 10 minutes with the water yeah it's 10 a.m now eat the boiled noodles yeah so yeah the the food is really now disappearing quickly and so he will need he will take some some just the remaining of the food with him but there's not much that he can eat uh, from this uh let's take these crackers so he only has a heart attack and seven crackers. He can also take maybe another bottle of plastic water. <laughs> plastic bottle of water, that's more correct. <laughs> and um, yeah, maybe he can cook while the, uh, he can clean two portions of water, put it into the container. And yeah, just f and finish the book. Yeah, it's it will be done soon. He's 97%. So he is now first aid level one, much better. He will put away the book for now. He will uh, wear, 
wear the duster and this should be worn over everything else I think that's okay yeah he's hot because he's standing next to fire uh, what this will be the um, the run for food so we will go down south with a car and uh, we will take I don't know do I really need a toolbox probably not we have the hammer on us we have everything on us so we will not take the toolbox not really we could to take the toolbox to try um, in just to see if Gail can take apart part a car outside we can do this but everything else I don't think we need these things no we'll just take the tool we could take the wood axe as well and we could try to chop a tree down but there will not be enough time to do all these things I think so we are all set we have yeah we have a good clothing on we have uh, some we have some basic food but the food is really sh running short now so we will uh, leave the shelter wield the knife spear we are we are wearing a duffel bag so we need to be careful stepping outside and you know what gail needs his morning routine so he will um pick up the cigarettes and uh, light the cigarettes he needs one cigarette just to start the day where where are the cigarettes oh here okay nice and he will put the rest of the cigarettes back on the counter uh, yeah just one cigarette he is now happy when he's smoking his cigarette he is more intelligent and more perceptive he sees a tough zombie in the distance he will need to deal with this tough zombie so he drops the long ranger and the not the duster and the duffel bag and uh, yeah this will be just uh, just his morning training he, oh now he needs to run so that the zombie doesn't bash his, his car he will wait for the zombie he's really capable of dealing with these lonely zombies now yeah and the zombie dies and this guy has just a very fat cash cart on him but that's really it so yeah no gail will just take the duffel bag and the long ranger duffel bag wear the duffel bag wear the long ranger close the door and we go on adventure let's check oh no uh let's think can we take anything from this car for example let's take let's say if we want to remove no we need at least mechanics one we can't even remove this d damaged windshield so yeah this is uh, th the reminder for gale so that he really needs um some basic learning of mechanics and this is his mission important part of his mission is getting some basic books about mechanics even level one would help but maybe getting something to get him to level two would be even better so yeah let's back the car Gale observe oh, not this way Gale observes the um, the garden and he sees that the crops are doing fine so Gale's mission is now to travel south but then a little bit approach the city from the eastern side um, yeah he is on the mission to get some food he could also get food in a different way there are other ways to get food uh, but since he also needs some books he thinks that this is the easiest think to achieve two things get the books get at least check the um the houses for the books and loot 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 the houses for wow, 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 wow not not so far he is driving past these craters uh so yeah wh where was i yeah so he wants to do th two things check these houses for books and find some food in these kitchens uh well this is the uh abandoned and he sees a minefield in the distance 
he needs to make sure that he does not drive through the minefield this would be really bad and the zombie is fighting the rat this is perfectly fine for Gale he also sees Amigo to the north northwest no is it to the northwest where is Amigo no it's to the southwest um yeah Amigo um hmm it's not something he wants to deal with right now to be honest so he will just uh, try to go get away from it and he sees a shocker zombie in the field really so much uh, so much happening in the f in the in this so the shockers oh this is nice the only question is it is really nice um shocker zombie i think this is the zombie that was chasing gale when he was first here probably it's probably the same creature now the only thing that's really dangerous here is the shocker zombie to be honest gale will turn around the car <sighs> you know what gale will play this smart and he will lead the zombie into the migo so let's let's drive this way and try to lead the the shocker zombie and the migo into a, a fight okay we see the migo migo is already fighting zombies yeah gale sees the shocker zombie approaching he also wants to the migo is heading north because there's another zombie Ooh, and a huge horde from the south so i think that whoa, 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 whoa. the shocker zombie shocks gale while he's while he's driving the car Whew. so uh, i think uh, we need to run away from here and there's a huge horde what i'm hoping for is that the migo and the shocker zombie will fight now because they are much closer together than gale is gale was shocked he was a little bit electrocuted but you know what if that's what it takes to get the the food then that's just what it takes he will now turn around and try to approach the houses again the migo is uh, the migo and the shocker zombie are probably fighting right now so we will try to approach again these zombies are all okay so if we park here if we kill the rest of them that's what gale thinks he will not go as far uh, mm, yeah he will park here he will need to stop driving drop the duffel bag and the long ranger is it safe enough it is safe enough so gale jumps out he goes uh, to zombies he's he's running he kills one tough zombie pretty fast okay so that's that's fine that's better and there's a fat zombie approaching now and gale deals with everything he finds a football football could be good for leather so he cuts up the football yes takes the small strings and leather patches uh wow amazing this was such a good performance from gale i am really proud of him uh this idea to simply lead the shocker zombie into the migo 
This is a really amazing performance. A and Y. Wow, wow, wow. We need to take. We need to take items from the ground, and we need to take. We need to take the duffel bag, unfortunately, because without with uh, where the uh, long ranger no wield where the long ranger because without the duffel bag we cannot take much with us. So let's hope it was worth it. Gail would like to find some good uh, food in these houses. Clean the broken window and let's hope we don't find uh, how to succeed in business. We already have this book. Uh, oh, and what Gail sees on the floor, something he's been looking for for so long. It's the sunglasses. <laughs> oh, amazing. Yeah, let's take it. Let's just wear the sunglasses. And of course, wear the sunglasses under the safety glasses. That would make sense. And uh, yeah, let's check these houses. Let's, but be careful. Uh, Gail needs to listen and uh, approach uh, slowly. Drink the, drink the cola or the soda, whatever that was. Gail didn't really pay. Oh no! How can? Oh. This is a problem. Uh, we need to run because, and let's hope we can outrun the dog because we have a duffel bag on. Close the door, drop the long ranger in the duffel bag. Even so, the dog ripped our long underwear top. How can you rip the underwear? Because we had we had the duster on, we had the long sleeve shirt, and yet the dog ripped our underwear. So it's a bit silly, but I think I mean we need to wear the duffel bag. There's no other way. Uh, maybe taking the rifle here is a bit silly because uh, I don't see. Okay, the window through the window it looks the air looks clear through the window so let's close it i don't see myself shooting the rifle here oh clam chowders ah, paper wrapper not so good and a sewing kit finally a proper kit for sewing the clothes um and there's a door there's a downstairs let's go down and see what Oh, this looks like a very nice basement. Oh, what is this? Gail puts the ear on the door and listens. He cannot hear anything. He decides to open this door. Oh, what is this? This looks like a really, really good find. Hand loader's helper. Useful, useful book. Some uh, screwdriver knots. But what is in here? That is the question. Gail cannot hear anything. Let's open the door. Oh! <laughs> A gun basement! <laughs> oh, wow. Now, can, how much of this can we take? We won't take the 22 caliber. We need 45 for sure. Rat shot, no. There's a lot of 22. Bird shot, no. Double knot shot is good, but breast catcher. Uh, this is the gun safe, which Gale cannot pick. Cannot try open. What is this? This is the hacker and cock. Wonderful. This uses the Stanag magazines, okay? Another magazine. We will not take the Glock. More magazines. This is another gun, and we. This is a rifle, and it looks like that we have the bullets for it. Amazing. Double barrel, no. Stanag, yes. Sten. I think we have Sten at home, don't we? I'm not sure. 
five seven. So yeah, he's got so many arms now. So yeah, he's uh, yeah he still can carry more. To be honest, let's leave. This is actually an amazing find. To be honest, let's leave this. Uh, but what we are here for is food, food and books. So we cannot call this a success. Let's clean this broken window and step outside. What do we see in the streets? Just a shrieker zombie, but one shrieker zombie can attract many, many other zombies. <sighs> so do we want to tangle with the sh If we do, we should, we should lead the shrieker zombie somewhere here, away. Oh, there's more. Maybe if we fight them inside this house, open the door, show our face. This can be a ba uh, soldering iron, another very useful thing. This can be a bad thing. I don't know how many of them are coming now. Oh no, another shrieker. Can this guy? <laughs> and we are wearing a duffel bag so I think that now this was a bad 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 play we will run away because we need to close this door drop the duffel bag and yeah now we will open the door where are they where are they <laughs> where where are what where did they go yeah there's a lot of activity but these oh these are the dogs mostly where are the zombies where is the feral runner oh he's here okay um let's stop running they're probably coming around the building. So we should expect fairer runner. Er, um, hmm. Yeah. Uh, Gale really doesn't know what to do in this case. If he will, probably better to remove the threat. Let's show our face here. This will bring the fairer runner up. Yeah. Yeah, that was a nice trick. And there should be another one. The Shrieker, yeah. Come here. Yeah, so we killed the Shrieker. Uh, how many did this attract? Zombie dog. As long as it's one or two zombie dogs, it's not a problem. But when there is multiples, then, then we have a problem, I think. Something, yeah, this is an opossum. Uh, maybe we can loot the next house. Let's try. Where? Maybe it would be better if we go and unload all this crap into the car. I think that's better because we have so much, so much crap on us now. Let's unload this. All these guns and everything. The long string, all this, all this, yeah, yeah, yeah. The toolbox, the soldering, the sewing kit, so many things, yeah. And all this, uh, we will we will leave the forty-five caliber on us, at least a few bullets, and I will even put the long ranger in the trunk. I don't think I will uh, shoot the long ranger. Maybe it's mis a mistake, but you know what? Uh, we we need low uh, low encumbrance, and we will have low encumbrance when we drop the duffel bag. So Gale decides to continue, and he will try to loot this house next door. This house should have some some good food in it. Because he saw the garden outside, so it's probably some farmer's house. 
Okay. Yes. Hops flower, zucchini. Perfect. Wheat. Oh, amazing. Oh, and the zombie, of course. <laughs> ah, we have the duffel bag on again. Okay, uh, what is this? Raspberry seeds, something that we can plant when we get home. So, yeah, let's hope that we get... He sees some books here. Time magazine, book of... Not what we're looking for. Outdoor adventures should be a good book. More seeds. Oh, I think that Gail will use... Uh, will spend some time planting when he gets home. Uh, there are some nasty zombies in the streets. Maybe best if Gale drops the duffel bag right here. And what's the encumbrance? Yeah, super low encumbrance. This is what I like. Now, if these zombies want to come inside, I think we can deal with them. Long string. They probably will want to come here. But this is ideal situation, fighting them in here through the window. Yeah, somebody is coming. Yes, the that's the ideal situation. He know Gale knows now how to fight these zombies. He definitely learned a few tricks. Yeah, easy. He cannot pull that one. As another one is coming, so Gale will just wait by the window. Yeah, smash this one. He got some S. This zombie had some S prints and more wrench. Now let's see, can we get some food from here? Meat pizzas, that's a pasta extruder. So we can make our own pasta and a fresh lemon. Hmm. I will just eat the lemon. It's, I don't know. I have one lemon at home and I don't know what Oh, disinfectant, amazing, and multivitamins. Let's take one multivitamin, because we were mostly eating junk food. That's what Gail thinks. Uh, no, we don't need... Mo oh, this was a little bit dangerous, opening the doors like this. But luckily, there was no one outside. And a mop. Okay, we did get some food and two books. Not this is not a mechanic book, so we can eat uh, meat pizzas. Mm, probably, maybe we can take one. We can eat one meat pizza and eat some, drink some water before we continue. Now, can we continue through here? Interestingly, it looks quite safe looks that the zombies were attracted somewhere else so this area looks uh, we did explore these two houses so Gail will make a mental note now he would like to continue of course but he did leave the duffel bag somewhere around here oh 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 oh, oh what he's <laughs> oh look at this so this is the Migo fighting a horde of zombies uh, I think that this is not something that uh, we should be involved. Migo is running away and the zombies are chasing him. Uh, the question is what will happen when the, uh, when the Migo dies? Because there's so many of them. I'm pretty sure that the Migo will die. So running now into the... This is actually very dangerous. Running now into the car. <sighs> This is a very dangerous situation. Gale will just take a short peek across here. Okay, and he sees that the Migo... Migo is still running and he's... And all the zombies are running after him. So let's wait a little bit more. Yeah. Migo is... Migo is now running back. So he decided that he's... He will fight. He did recover because these Migos... They recover after some time. So now they, but they are, it is severely, I think we need to make a run for the car. Uh, I don't want them to make anything, any fights up there. Ooh, it, 
Uh, let's run. Run, 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 run. Run, run. Ooh, this is really dangerous. Look at this. And they are all running after the Migo. <laughs> so now, okay, when we, we can, I think we can jump into the car. I think our, uh, our uh, food hunting expedition is uh, over. We will jump into the car. Maybe, well, maybe we can take advantage of that because this Migo now did pull away so many Zeds that if we are smart, but I don't know if the zombies will run uh, after the car. Uh, so we, we, have, we have everything on us. Let's, we are still running, so let's jump into the car. Start the car. And uh, yeah, we will need to zoom out a little bit. And the zombies will now... Some of the zombies will run after us, which we need to step on the gas. Yeah. Without the car, this would be very, very dangerous. So how many zombies did Migo manage? Did he, how many did he pull away? There is a... Bo can we deal with all these zombies and get... Zo because Gale sees... Gail sees some uh, some items on the ground, some very very nice items, and the question is, can we jump out of the car, deal with all this, and get the loot for ourselves? That's what's on Gail's mind right now. Maybe if we lead them up a little bit, just to make the make a certain we cannot take them all at once but maybe here by these bushes oh and there is a moo oh well you know what we will do gail will use this moose moose is angry i bet he's angry he will lead the moose back no the moose is leaving are you really leaving mr moose the moose is fleeing because it's nearly dead so this will but at the same time gail doesn't see let's back up the mo this moose is nearly dead so gail is not really concerned about this there's a shocker zombie where is the shock shocker zombie in the north yeah we can probably take this one shocker zombie or the mo this moose will probably not kill this shocker zombie because it's so injured but if the shocker zombie kills the moose then we have our our dinner for today for sure moose will have lots of meat so let's try it Come on, shocker zombie. Yeah. Run away. The moose is... F and yeah, we also have here the minefield. That's another thing that we can use to our advantage. The question is, how can we do this? Um, I'm a little bit afraid of driving through. Um yeah <laughs> uh can we go through here without yeah we're safe this was a little bit risky and we will just we should see some explosions now we see a spitter zombie and a acidic zombie so much so much is happening outside today What happened here? Where is the shocker zombie? Come on. Step into the minefield. Step on the mine, please. 
Shocker Zombies to the West. And this is probably this here, Gale thinks this is probably the moose, right? This is the rat. So the moose ran away and the shocker zombie is now in the in the building. Mm. What is a shocker zombie doing? Shocker zombie is probably chasing the moose. So uh, best thing would be now if the shocker zombie wants to fight with the moose then we should go back and uh, loot the loot the field loot the corpses that's what gale thinks that yeah these are this is now ours to take there may be some zombies but we can deal with them i think we can deal with them we will park here We will zoom a little bit. Stop driving. Uh, we are not wearing the duffel bag, right? No. We will loot these corpses. What do we have here? Just a zombie corpse. We will smash this. Maybe we can... The zombies are now... Who is coming? I think the firefighter zombie is coming. We will need to deal with him, unfortunately. okay uh the firefighter zombie we have we can clean uh, we can clean now the um clothes so we can take at least um hmm, we need to wear the duffel bag which i don't like to do but we will take the um, flame resistant socks turnout trousers maybe the turnout coat We, we need to slow to a walk. We'll drop this. We'll drop all this into the trunk of the car. Yeah, drop everything in the car. And we'll try to loot these corpses. What do we have here? Science ID card, fungicide, hiking boots that fit. Uh, we will probably attract one of two or two Zs, but we can deal with this. We have the soldering iron right now. We have the lab coat. I don't think we need a lab coat. A CBM, a science ID card. Okay, now there is a zombie dog approaching. And uh, Gale remembers that he had a duffel bag on. Very silly of him. So let's put everything into the car. Yeah. And there's more zombies coming. Oh, a crafting book. <laughs> Just like that. Sometimes you don't need to go into uh, the houses. So, yeah. I think this is it. This is this is the side. There's no not there's nothing more. Yeah, there are some more zombies coming. Yeah. We got a bite for no reason. Well, we got a bite for uh, Ambien. <laughs> That's what Gale thinks. We have, we did have uh, our duffel bag on. So I think that this is uh, what was realistically possible to take now. There is another house down south, but Gale would like to go home, um, check the books, seed the seed uh, the um, plant the seeds. Yeah, not fight this zombie, no. We, I don't think we have to fight him. No. Too late. Yeah, so I think this this is good. 
we will drive home um, yeah before it's day uh, while it's still daylight uh, we need to be careful well, did, did we uh, we did uh, drive over the um, the bush we need to be careful about that so let's see we need to go slightly to the to the west here to drive uh, yeah these are the strawberry uh, strawberry bushes here but the strawberries are not ready yet this will take some time and this is the familiar road this is what Gail remembers he likes this road this road takes him home Whew, this was a little bit rough um, we will need to stop and check and assess the situation that's what Gail thinks um, he did get a few well getting the um, the seeds for for some plants that's a useful thing because this will provide food in the long run he stops the car who and a big sigh he is he is happy nonetheless I mean he did uh, he did uh, manage to deal with the zombies pretty well and the Migo he did get let's see he did get a few books he has a few s seeds yeah zucchini and raspberry we will and raw bean raw beans we will plant this maybe even today because uh, it the the this should grow really well now uh, unfortunately we did not get any mechanical books over here no this is just the leather patches and small strings um, so yeah um, okay viewers this is where we will leave Gale it is day 13 uh, 3 p.m. in the afternoon he still has the whole afternoon and the whole evening in front of him and we will make the plan how to continue when we return until then take care and see you next time bye bye